Now, I know earlier on Instagram, I put up a thing that said, uh, I had a picture of something that I've made quite recently, aka last night, on it. And this is kind of just thrown together, wanting to get it done so I can show you guys. And uh, a little bit of a pain in the butt, but awesome at the same time. It is my rough cut 2x4 modulus barrel. Yes, modulus barrel integration. Oh, yeah! Fully working rough cut. Modulus barrel, which... I had torn apart, it's on my parts bin, <laughs> and um, sorry for the sneeze, um, and because it didn't really work that well. So I went ahead, made it, put it back together, and did this. Now what I did, uh, was I, um, took whose thing is it, uh, if you type up, here, I'm going to type up, I'm so not ready for this, retaliator rough You type in See if they're on here. Yes. You type in uh, retaliator rough cut integration and it's blastaway.eu which gave me this idea to do it this way because I don't want to mess with epoxy putty or really anything else. I might do it coops way with some bolts. I don't know though. Um, so. This is it. I took two zip ties, tied them around right here. I made them specifically for my strike, which I had to put a little uh, screw here, through here, to get it to slide into there, because I don't know where the knob is for it. And um, it's perfectly fine. I'm going to stick this on my better strife when I get it. That renegade nerf at Instagram is uh, that. He's sending me the strife, the overpowered strife. So if you want to go check him out, it's Renegade Nerf at Insta on Instagram. Uh, go check him out. He's really cool. Um, it fits perfectly on the strife. There you go. And then you just. I haven't really tried it out with a banana bag. Because I don't run banana mags, but I think it'll be perfectly fine. I gotta fix it up a little bit and just make it better. I gotta straighten you up, stupid thing. It's not in the greatest working condition, but. Brady Carson, you will remember this rough cut as the one that you sold me. The blue leaf one that you showed me. What I did was I took my hand saw, which is somewhere. Well, it's a hand saw I got at Goodwill for like two bucks that I just took. And, um, it, yeah, it's really neat and. I like it because while you're reloading, while I'm reloading my 18 mags, I'm not the fastest. So if I, if someone try, I always keep it in this position. If someone tries to come up behind me and uh, tag me while I'm 
reloading, uh, I can spin around, and I can't grab my pistol, so I can spin around just... That's what I like about this. I know it's a little wobbly just because it's on this short block. It's not on the greatest, I still gotta tighten most of this up. I have shot probably 50 darts through it, the way it is. And yeah, I just need to do a couple things to it and it'll be perfectly fine. Carson Brady, don't give me a hard time for this, okay? I know it's not the greatest, but I don't have the stuff to make it the greatest one. I don't have epoxy putty. I don't have all that. It's like some kids, like Tiger, Tiger Foam, if he ever watches this, film, this channel, or Tiger Nurse, or whatever his channel name is called. Uh, not on my computer. I've got my computer monitor set up right now. Uh, I think this week I'm going to do um, weekend. I'm going to make it so I'm going to make a video on something including this stuff and then a uh, tactical, well, tactical unloading of all the mats. Just doing that with my strife. I would not be doing it with my uh, rapid strike because my rapid strike is stupid and broken. Because I think I burn up the motors on it. Or I put some wire somewhere. I, I didn't open it and break it, so. Um, I just opened it up, took the regular locks out. Um, this video is getting on a little long. So I will talk to y'all later. Goodbye.